logged into cPanel here at one of my hosting uh, accounts at HostGator and this is the cPanel. Now to install WordPress we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on the link that says Fantastico Deluxe. When Fantastico opens you'll see down the left hand side a list of scripts that Fantastico can install. Basically Fantastico is just an automated script installer. It makes it very easy just to install any of the scripts you see down here. The one we want, WordPress, is up here under Blogs. So if we click on that, we're then taken to this screen. And you can see here already on my site, I do have an installation in my root directory. So I'm going to install another copy of WordPress, but I'm going to install it into a folder. If you're creating a website and you want your website to be your WordPress blog, then you would install into the root folder like that. Let's click on the new installation and you'll see the information that we have to provide. Okay, the first thing is which directory, uh, sorry, which domain do you want to install it on? Now I only have one domain in this account, so that's where I'm going to install it. As I said previously, if you want to install in the root directory of your domain, in other words, you want your website to be your blog, then you can leave this box empty. If however you want to install your blog, your WordPress blog, into a folder, let's say blog, then you type the name of that directory or folder here. And um, you've got to make sure that that folder doesn't already exist because it will be created during this install. If we carry on scrolling down, we've got to put in a username and password, which I'll just put in anything there for now, but you need to um, put in something there for your login. The admin nickname, well that's my name, and then you put in an admin email address. Um, you can put in webmaster at and then your domain and then the name of your site. So what, what is the name of your blog and a description. Then once you've filled all that in, click the install WordPress button and you're taken to step two. It says here that the MySQL database a user will be created and used for this installation. Um, you've chosen to install this into a subdirectory called blog, yes, and then it tells me the access URL. And now click finish installation to continue. Okay, now WordPress install here. Fantastico has, has configured everything and we're ready to log into our WordPress blog. Let me type in admin, admin. And here we are into the WordPress blog. We can view the blog here. There we go. So that's installing WordPress using Fantastico.